Because you demanded it, a podcast app for Android today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. My name is Ron Richards, and I'm happy to report that many of you have been writing in to us via our email address and all on the forums, giving us tons of feedback as to what applications you'd like us to check out. Please keep them coming in. We've gotten so many that I thought I'd take a look at one of those apps suggested. Matt Mayer wrote in suggesting I check out Dogcatcher for the Android. Dogcatcher is a podcast management application for Android. And since I'm a huge fan of podcasts, listening to them on my way to work and at the gym, I jumped at this suggestion. Developed by Snogdogler, Dogcatcher costs $6.99 through the Android Marketplace and basically does what it advertises, downloads and plays podcasts. Now that may seem like a simple task, but it's actually quite complicated. Sure, Android is a smartphone with media playback capabilities and comes with a music player to play MP3s and you could load podcasts to that, but as any dedicated podcast listener knows, without feed management and subscriptions, the act of manually downloading your podcast and loading them to the phone can be a big hassle. And that's where Dogcatcher comes in. I'll show you how it works after a quick word from our sponsor on the hot app of the day. Hey everyone, Eileen here, and it's that time, time for the hot app of the day. Now a couple of news updates first. First, Twitter phone for the iPhone now has a new name and logo. You can start calling it Echo Phone. I think it's gonna take some time for me to get used to that. Now in hardware news, LG announced its first Android phone, the GW620. It's got a QWERTY slider keyboard and three inch touchscreen. It will be available in the fourth quarter of this year in select European markets. Now AIM for the iPhone just got an update. It now has live stream integration. Now what does that mean? Well, you can now add accounts from Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, Dig, and YouTube. You can view these accounts without ever leaving the app. Plus, you can share photos to your live stream. Now, these changes are for the $2.99 paid app. The free app has not yet been updated. And FYI, coming up in a future episode, Annie Gals will give you a rundown of three other IM apps for the iPhone. The hot app of the day is brought to you by Netflix. Thanks to Netflix for sponsoring this episode of App Judgment. With Netflix, you can rent over 90,000 titles online, including lots of Blu-ray titles, with free shipping both ways to your home. Plans start from $4.99. As a new member, you can get a no-risk two-week free trial membership. Check it out at www.netflix.com slash AJ. And remember to type in the www when using this code. And now back to Ron and his review of Dogcatcher for the Android. When I think about what I need in a good podcast management app, I think of three things. First, it's got to be able to play the podcasts, but both audio and video. Second, I need to be able to manage my subscriptions and control what I download and when. And finally, I want to be able to find new podcasts easily. Let's see how Dogcatcher fares. When you first load Dogcatcher, you'll see a list of suggested podcasts that you're already subscribed to in order to get you started, along with the media player along the bottom. I love seeing a clear play button, making it super easy to just start listening to your podcasts. There's also a playlist function that lets you see the order of the episodes that you have queued to listen to. You can also filter by audio or video podcasts, which is a nice touch in keeping the two types separate. Just hit play and your podcast starts to play. If you have your headphones plugged in, they'll play through those. If not, then the podcast plays through the speaker in your phone. When you hit play, you'll see the name of the podcast, the total time, and where you are in the episode. Basically, all the information you need while listening. The podcast will keep playing while you go use other applications, which is great if you're commuting and like to do email or Twitter while listening. There's also a little play icon in the upper notification bar to let you know a podcast is playing in case you forget. Dogcatcher handles playback of podcasts great. It's simple and easy to start listening and keep listening, but that's one of the three that I got right. So how about the subscriptions and feed management? On the main screen, you can see all the podcasts you're subscribed to. Just long tap on the name of a podcast and you get a menu of feed options. Here you can choose to update the feed to see if there's new episodes, mark all the episodes in the feed as new or listened to. You can see the feed's description, load up the options, or delete the feed. Everything you need is right here in one menu. If you tap a podcast, you pull up a list of episodes where you can see which ones have been downloaded or not. A long tap on the episode brings up the menu where you can delete an episode, see the description, or flag it as listened. Keeping it simple is the way to go, and Dogcatcher's made it super simple to manage your podcasts. But since podcasts tend to be big files, anywhere from 15 meg to 50 meg, battery life is a big concern for me, but Dogcatcher's got that covered as well. Just hit the menu button and tap preferences. Here's where the real magic of Dogcatcher is. The section titled Begin Downloads Only When. By providing two options, you can choose to only download your podcast when you're connected to Wi-Fi and only when your phone is plugged into a power source. This is genius. Having the Wi-Fi option is a no-brainer, but having the option to not download any podcasts until you're plugged in, that's a great option I never would have thought of. Dogcatcher definitely gets the feed management aspect of the podcast right. And in the fact that it automatically saves your podcast to the SD card, all your basic needs are covered. So what about finding new podcasts? Finding new podcasts isn't quite as easy as listening to the ones you have. 
hitting the menu button and tapping ad feed isn't really the most intuitive place to look for to discover new podcasts. But once you do, you're presented with a bunch of options to find new feeds. A neat feature is the recommendations tool that looks at your subscribe podcast and will recommend other shows based on your interests. This is a good idea, but not so good in execution. I didn't notice any real differences between the recommendations and the top feeds list, so it gets a bit redundant when you see the same podcast in both places. If you know the name of a podcast you want to listen to, you can simply search for it by typing in the name. This is where Dogcatcher kind of fails. It makes me realize how dependent on iTunes I've been with my podcasts. I don't know how Dogcatcher is managing their index of podcasts, but once you get past the obvious popular podcasts like This Week in Tech or This American Life, you end up with a lot of zero search results when you're trying to find your favorite podcasts. If the podcast you want to listen to doesn't come up in the search, you can add the RSS feed manually, but that can be a pain in the butt to have to find the RSS feed URL and then have to type it in. So let's recap and see how Dogcatcher measures up. Simple and easy to use playback, Great feed management and download preferences, and an easy to navigate UI makes Dogcatcher seem like a great application. But it does have a few drawbacks, like the limited podcast directory for finding new podcasts, and while I'm all for supporting the developers behind the app, the $6.99 price tag is a bit pricey. That said, my app judgment for Dogcatcher is to download this app. It may be expensive, but if you're a hardcore podcast listener and you're using your phone to listen to music and podcasts, then Dogcatcher is a must-have application. It handles your shows in a real easy to use manner that doesn't get in the way. So thanks, Matt, for the tip. So what do you think? Are you using Dogcatcher? Head over to our forums to tell everyone what you think of it at revision3.com slash appjudgment, where you can also get links to download Dogcatcher as well as check out all of our previous episodes. Have any other apps you think we should check out? Email us at appjudgment at revision3.com or give me a shout on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash ronxo. I'm Ron Richards and this was App Judgment and I'm never going to have enough time to listen to all these podcasts.